Hey guys, uh, this is day two of Songs and Memories, where I talk about a song, and I give them give a memory, or talk about what I feel about it. You know, Songs and Memories, it's like albums and memories, except it's, obviously it's about songs, I'm rambling here. Now, for day two, the song I want to talk about is the first Radiohead song I ever heard, and that was Just, which is just do it to yourself, do it to yourself in parentheses, or brackets. Now. I remember there was a I remember the first time I heard this song and it wasn't the song itself. I remember watching the part of the video on a show called Back In and it was uh as I said in a commentary with a friend, Back In was a show where it was a twenty part mini series documentary on much more music where it delved where each episode delved into the year, into a year between nineteen eighty and nineteen ninety nine. And throughout it all, like for each year, I talked about the fashions, the fads, the biggest movies of the year, and um, who who like was born during that year, who died during that year. And throughout each episode, before and after each commercial break, they would talk about the best and worst music videos of that year. And this specific year was 1995, which is the second last episode of the season, and then the last episode will be 1999. So 1995, uh, it was on the best of li the best year, and I was like, "What is this?" And I saw Radiohead's um, "Just Music" video, and I was like, "Whoa, this is intriguing!" Even though they're not showing the whole thing, I got really, really intrigued. And I was intrigued a lot about the video, sure, but I was very, very intrigued about the song itself because I was like, "Oh my God, this is actually really, this is actually really." Intense. The song is making this, the whole video very, very, very intense. And it's like, man, this is actually really good. And so I kind of forgot about it after a while because I used to watch each and every episode. It was repeated like three times throughout the week. And it's like, I watch each episode three times a week and it's fine. And then I kind of forgot about it a little bit. And then when I was in high school, I saw we were talking about a certain video, like, I don't know how it got up, but, like, the talk of, uh, English teacher in grade now was talking about, there was this music video where a guy's just laying on the ground, and, and then before he finished the sentence, I'm like, radio had just, and it's like, it just popped into my head, I'm like, oh my god, I remember that, and it's like, oh yeah, I remember, oh yeah, and then it turned out that a couple of days later, he had the DVD of Radiohead's, um, seven television commercials where it, taught, where it just showed vi music videos, I actually have a magazine of that right here. Um, hold on a minute. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but the magazine, like, oh man, the thing is gone. Like, it's gone. So, Radiohead 7 television commercials right here. This one's right here. Radiohead 7 television commercials. That's what he brought in. And this is from 2009, and the cover's gone. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I still have it. A lot of junk, and I still have it. So, I'm going to put this here. So, what happened was, like, we watched it, we watched the video, and I finally watched the Just video all throughout the, throughout it all, and I'm like, so we don't get what he's going to say, so we never get what he's going to say, and it's like, well, that's the mystery, and it turns out, like, the director said that's intentional, because if you know what he was saying, the guy on the ground was saying, giving the reason why he's on the ground, then you would lie on the ground too. And that's what everybody else did in the video. And, like, the video stuck out to me, sure, but the song was like, this is the first Radiohead that song that, that actually I listened to, and it made a huge impression on me. So much so that when I finally got my very, 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 very first MP3, that was one of the first of seven songs I ever put on an MP3, my own MP3. I, I borrowed my sister's a couple of times, but, you know, it was my sister's, and I might have ruined, I broke it at one point. But in my personal, with my very first MP3, it was a very, one of the, one of seven songs I remember clearly downloading and putting on an MP3. The very first song was Go Go Gadget Gospel by Gnarls Barkley, but I don't think that's on the list, but I just want to let you know. But that, like, just was the first Radiohead song I ever heard, and that's why it's so special to me. Because, you know, like, people would say, oh, Creep. But I didn't hear of Creep until, what, what let me see. Uh, so I heard just when I was in elementary school, so it was around grade 
seven or eight, so that was like 2000. Hold on, let me see, because I have a 2004, because I got this in elementary school. I got this. This is a gold um, basketball, like a gold medal I got for a church basketball game. And I still have it. It says 2004, so it was around that time. And then Creep, I didn't hear of until uh, grade 11, so that was like, what? Uh, okay, two, four, four years, like four or five years later. And I didn't hear about it until then. And, but even then, I started just listening to other songs on Radiohead afterwards, like, um, oh, crap. Uh, it's mo it was mostly stuff from, uh, OK Computer, um, like Paranoid Android, uh, shoot, there was another one, uh, damn, I actually forgot, uh, it'll come to me soon, um, but in which case, uh, yeah, uh, just is on this day uh, song and memories list because I have special memories of it. And um, yeah, I uh, just enjoy it because it brings back memories of, you know, me listening to my MP3 back when it was only seven songs and I had to click back and forth between several songs. And uh, yeah, that's actually, pr it was actually a pretty good time for me. Mm, com not completely, the circumstances of how things ended up, but I can't talk about that. Uh, it's just, it's mostly just, it, this is a show about songs and memories, and I'm trying to do my best. So, um, that's it for day two, which is, again, just by Radiohead. And, uh, until the next time, I'll see you in the next, um, songs and memories thing. So, take care.